Today we are fixing up the best ever yellow squash casserole and you are just going to love this recipe. So let's get kicking. Hi, I'm Melissa Diane and on this channel we have lots of fun in the kitchen and doing all kinds of other things for your home and garden. We're going to kick it off today by talking about the ingredients and different things that you're going to need to make your fantastic yellow squash casserole. For all of the measurements, for all of these ingredients, I will list that in the description section below the video. So to start with though, for your squash, I will be using fresh squash today and you're gonna need about two pounds. That's why I have a scale over here. If you don't have a scale, it's gonna probably equal about six cups of sliced up yellow squash. You're also gonna need to have one small onion. We're gonna use a little bit of salt and pepper. I like to use some kosher salt and some coarse ground black pepper. Then you're gonna use a little bit of sour cream. You need some crackers. I like to use these butter crackers. If you don't have butter crackers, then you can use some Ritz crackers. You're gonna need mayonnaise, a couple of large eggs, about a half a stick of butter, and then some grated um, sharp cheddar cheese. And I also like to add just a little bit of honey. Other items that you'll need today, you do need a casserole dish. And so I'm using just a rectangle one here. It's pretty deep. You can use like an eight or nine inch square and that will work just fine. You also need a large skillet that I've got back here. And that should be it. I wanna start by going ahead and getting the squash ready to put over here in the skillet. And I'm gonna go ahead and cut off the ends here. And I'm just gonna lay these little guys in here out of curiosity and see how much they weigh. I'll stick this in here. How are we doing? Hmm. Not as much as I thought. Okay. We do need about two pounds. So there we go. Now what? We're just about almost at that two pound mark. I think that'll do good. And if need be, I can just put a little bit more in. Let's see, right here. I cut off a little more on these than I needed to. Let's see, how are we? Yeah, right there at the two pound mark. Now, after I get these all sliced up and everything out of curiosity, I'm gonna see how many cups that comes to. I think it's gonna be about six. Think we're good to go. Here's what I've done so far. I've gone ahead and I sliced up the squash and it did come to just a little bit over six cups. So I have the slices ready to go. I've also gone ahead and chopped up a small onion. Now I like to use a yellow onion. I think it's just a little bit sweeter. It tastes just a little bit better, I think, in the casserole. I've shredded the cheese. It comes to about a cup of shredded cheese. It is sharp cheddar. You can buy shredded cheese, but I tell you what, it's so much better if you'll just get your block of cheese and just shred it yourself. There is a difference in the taste. And I also have gone ahead and measured out the sour cream and the mayonnaise and that's what's going to be used in the mixture with the squash and I've got a, about a fourth a cup of each one of those and then I went ahead and crumbled up the butter cookies. I've got a cup here and that's what we're going to start with because when we make this topping we'll also put a little bit of melted butter in there. So now let's head back over here to the cooktop and let's get these squash and onions cooking. First thing I'm doing is I'm going to put in here just a little bit of butter and turn that down. And we're just gonna put a little bit of butter in here before we put in our squash and our onions. And we're gonna mix all this over here before we go put it in the casserole dish. We're almost melted here. I'm gonna go ahead and start putting in the squash. I wanna put in just one layer to start with. And what you're gonna find is by doing this, by cooking this over here on the cooktop like this, it just, it gets out some of that moisture also. And um, instead of just doing it all in that one dish, it'll get out some of the moisture and your recipe, or excuse me, your casserole, when it comes out, it's just not gonna be soggy. Because when you're cooking with yellow squash and some other squashes too, but particularly yellow squash, it's a real tendency for everything to get mushy. And we don't want a mushy casserole. I'm gonna go ahead here and put in our onions. Now once I've gotten all of the onion in there, now I'm gonna go back and add in the remaining yellow squash that I have sliced up. I'm 
There we go. Now this looks like a lot, but this really cooks down. So we're going to cook this here a little bit, stir it up, and I will be back in a few minutes. We've been cooking here for about six minutes, and I'm going to go ahead. What I'm doing now is I'm just taking this and just flipping it so that way all of the squash that were on the top, now they can be on the bottom. And it's already cooking down quite a bit. So we just want to probably go for about another six minutes. A bunch of onions. We'll go for about another six minutes. And then hopefully we'll be done and we'll be tender enough that we'll add in our other mixture. It's looking good. And let me tell you, it is already smelling good. It's looking good. And just about all of the squash looks like we are cooking down. It's looking really nice. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and add in this mixture that we have here of our shredded cheese and our eggs and our mayonnaise and our sour cream. Stick this over here. Okay, let's see if we can get all of this out. There we go. It's looking good. Okay. Now we're just going to mix this all together. I've turned this down to low, very low. It's actually on a simmer. Just while we mix this together. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and turn it off, I think. I'm going to turn this off. And you're just wanting to coat to coat all of these pieces. Now, I will tell you when you make up that mixture of your eggs and your cheese and sour cream and um, mayonnaise you're going to think you're not going to have enough but you are. It goes further than you think. Right. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to remove this from the heat and I'm going to mix in some salt and pepper. Take a little bit of this kosher salt. I'm just going to put it right across the top. I'll try to scoot over here so you can see. I don't put a lot in. I just, and not much is coming out. I just put a little bit of salt. It comes to about a fourth of a teaspoon. Just a little bit. And then we'll take just a little bit of this coarse ground black pepper. I'm going to put it across the top. Now I'm going to mix this up because I do like to have some pretty good amount of pepper in it. Oh wow, this is already, it is looking so good. Wish you could smell this. I'm just going to drizzle a teeny bit of honey on here. Just back and forth. I think that just gives it an extra little kick. And we are now headed over to put this in the casserole dish. We now have our squash all in our casserole dish. And I've gone ahead and melted my butter. And I want to put this in my crushed up little butter crackers here. And I'm just starting with one cup right now of these crushed up crackers. And I may have to get some more. It really just depends on the size of your dish. I've gotten that all mixed up. Just want to make sure that melted butter gets all over and coats all of those little cracker pieces. It's looking great. So now I'm going to go ahead and start putting this over the top. And we'll see if we have enough. Mix it up a little more. You know, and it really is a preference on if you want your whole top of your casserole to be completely coated or if you just want it to be partly coated so you can still see the squash. And I think, you know, on this one, I'm going to go ahead and just kind of leave it to where you can still see a little bit of the squash instead of adding more to it. 
There we go. That is really looking nice. And that is going to, oh, it already smells so wonderful, y'all. And it is going to, oh, it's going to taste so good. So we're going to get ready to put this in the oven. Here's just a quick little tip of something I like to do. Um, I like when it, when my, when I take the casserole out, I just like it to be all nice and pretty. And so I will take just a little damp paper towel and just kind of wipe off any of the casserole. You can't see there, but there was some on the edge. I just like to get it all cleaned up because if not, when it cooks, it's going to get all crusty and brown along there. So I just like to make it look as pretty as I can. Here we are. We're all ready to go into the oven. And this is going to go at 350 for about 30 minutes and then we'll give it a quick peek. Well, while that is cooking, I decided to come out here and get some rosemary. I've got this large rosemary bush, and I think that would be so wonderful to add just a little bit of that to the top while it's cooking. So there we go. I cut me a little sprig of rosemary, so let's go put it on top of the casserole. As I was cutting up the rosemary, look who shows up. Hey, Ace. There's Ace, and there's Heidi. Yes, and we got us a little bitty sprig right here, don't we, kids? A little bitty sprig here of this rosemary, and we're gonna go put this on top of the casserole. So let's take this out just real quick, and I'm gonna sprinkle this. Let me go here, switch hands. I'm gonna sprinkle this just all over the top, and I think that's gonna give some really, really good flavor. It's gotta cook for about another, oh, I think about another 10 minutes. We're out of the oven. Our casserole looks wonderful and it smells great. Be sure and check out that next video that's popping up. I'll see you there in a few minutes. Bye-bye.